Hi everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about self-mastery. For those of you who don't know, self-mastery is basically the work of mastering your whole being, your whole existence. Now, what is self-mastery? Self-mastery means you have the ability to control yourself in any situation, that you move consciously and steadily towards any goals that you have set for yourself. Overall, it's a form of self-control. Going a little bit into that, you have control over your emotions, you have control over your thoughts, you have control over what you consume in your body, you have control over how your day goes you're just a very well-rounded structured person now if you feel like you don't have control over your thoughts your emotions your day-to-day -day schedule you have so much ambition so many goals that you have set for yourself but you feel like you're having trouble accomplishing them that may be a sign that you have not mastered yourself I have struggled with this for many, many years. I would break promises to myself all the time. I would not follow through with things that I had envisioned for myself because I lacked the discipline. I used to let what people say get to me. I used to have road rage. I did not have control over my emotions. So anything that would happen to me, I would act out of anger, out of rage. So if you feel like this is something you struggle with, then I can teach you some ways that can help you. And again, it all starts with self-awareness. If you are well aware that you are not living up to your potential, you're breaking these promises to yourself, always say you're gonna start something tomorrow, taking that accountability to know that you have not been doing good, but you want to do better. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips that has helped me with my growth that I think will be helpful to you all as well. When you envision your higher self, what does that person look like? How does that person dress? What is the mindset of this person? What habits does this person have? Number one, this tip is called working for your higher self. So what you want to imagine is your highest self. When you see the highest version of yourself, how does that person's everyday life look like? What type of habits does that person have? How does that person dress? Is that person disciplined? You want to just imagine that you're working for your higher self and developing those habits and essentially meet your higher self and you become one. Another tip is you want to start implementing healthy habits. And by healthy habits, I mean things that are going to help you become better each and every day. If you are somebody who struggles with, you know, scrolling through social media, you need to set a time for yourself. Say you're not going to get on social media um, two hours after you wake up and two hours before bed and sticking beside these promises every day. You have to practice the habit until it becomes second nature. If you want to lose weight, and you keep saying you're going to the gym and you go for like a week and then you cut out, you're not giving yourself enough time to create that habit. So you need to push yourself. It's gonna take a lot of work, but you have to, have to, have to push yourself or else you're just gonna be starting on square one and you will never begin on your journey. Next one on my list is appearance. And this one I'm going to stand by every single day. I do not care. It's important to care about how you look. Keep yourself kept. I will reiterate, when you look good, you do good. And that's all I need to say on that because I have a whole other previous video on self-care and why it's important and why you should care about how you present yourself to yourself and to others. Next one on my list is goals. So it's important to have goals set for yourself. This helps you get that structure that you need to become a more disciplined person. When you achieve these goals, you feel more confident in yourself because you're keeping your promises to really accomplish a lot more. You just kind of keep going. Once one goal is met, then you strive for the next goal and then the next goal. And then you look back and you see how far you've come. And that's why goal setting is important. And it's important to keep working until you achieve these goals because it instills such a confident boost. You walk more with a purpose. You feel better about life. Next is a healthy mindset. If you don't have control over your mind, you're going to be living a miserable life. With that being said, leave yourself alone. Stop criticizing yourself. Stop talking negative about yourself. Stop thinking negative thoughts. And I know it's easier said than done. It's all about how much you want it. I see far too often many people complaining about 
their relationships, their work environment, anything of that sort, when they have full control over your lives. A lot of people think we don't have control over our lives, but we do. We have control over what we think. We have control over what we absorb, the information we take in, that we're not being treated the way we wanna be treated. Why are we staying with that person? We're going above and beyond in the workplace, but we're still not being recognized then it's time to leave. And with that, that's also a form of self-respect. You need the self-respect. If you're not being treated how you want to in a relationship, you don't like what your partner's doing, um, and it happens time and time and again, you need to respect yourself and leave. Same with the workplace. If you're not being treated how you deserve, respect yourself and move forward. There's a solution to everything, but so many people get stuck in that self-pity, actuality, they have control to make the situation better. They don't have control over their mind to believe that they can. And I know I said it before, but it's also important to keep your promises to yourself. If you promise you're gonna go to the gym today, go to the gym. If you promise you're gonna read a chapter today, read that chapter. If you promise you're gonna journal a page, journal a page. Keep those promises to yourself because that also instills confidence. It makes you feel like, okay, I can do this. You start to believe in yourself. And when you start to believe, you start to achieve. And then I've been through it all. I've been the person stuck in a relationship, no longer serving her, the person that was tired of a job. I've been the venter. And I did nothing about it until I started to have that self-awareness to know that I want better. I need to do better because I have all these goals, all these ambitions, all these dreams. And if who I am is not matching that person, my higher self, then I'll never get there. That's why it's important to start doing that inner work and having that self-awareness to understand like, what am I lacking? What can I do better to get me to um, the next level? So you guys need to have that self-control, self-respect, and self-awareness if you can wake up every morning ask yourself what would my higher self do today and start doing that i feel like i want to end every video with and watch how the quality of your life improves relieve yourself of those negative thoughts they do nothing for you except for hold you back not believing in yourself is the biggest thing it is hard it's difficult especially when you're trying to change from a negative headspace to a positive one. It's not easy, but if you want it enough, you will make it happen. Once you essentially make it to that side where it becomes second nature, you're going to thank yourself every day that you never gave up. And it's the best feeling in the world. You feel invincible. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.